Alright, so in this lab you're going to have an unknown solid in a vial. And when you go to the balances, you'll notice that there's no weighing paper, no weighing boats. But if you look in your drawer, you've got numerous things. A um, couple beakers, Erlenmeyer flask. Anyway, what you should do is uh, we're going to do, we all know sort of weighing by uh, addition, where you'd uh, put your stuff onto a sheet of paper or whatever and, and get its mass. We're going to do weighing by difference. Uh, this you're going to need uh, some diethyl ether to help dissolve your unknown uh, and essentially rinse it out of the vial. Um, so before you go back to your station at the fume hood, make sure you get yourself some diethyl ether and both you and the person next to you are going to need it so you can actually save some time by getting enough for both of you. Um, as far as the weighing and the transferring of your unknown, you're also going to need a pipette, a disposable pipette, and a pipette bulb. Uh, these are at the front of the room. And as far as getting your unknown out, um, you got so for weighing by difference, you're going to weigh the initial sample, including the vessel that it's in. If you do it without the cap, make sure you later are weighing without the cap. If you're weighing it with the cap closed, when you go to take your final weight, make sure you have the cap as well. So record that mass of your unknown in the vial. Then you're going to go and transfer it into a beaker, and depending on how long it's sat there on the shelf, it may not come out initially, so give it a little bit of a tap. If that doesn't do it, you can just try banging on the side of the bench, and that should take care of it. Um, now, inevitably there's going to be a little bit left in there and we want to make sure that the mass we're taking account of uh, has all of it. So with the pipette, you're going to go and get some ether and uh, that first time you take ether into the pipette it might immediately squirt out so be sure you don't go too far with it. Anyway. Rinse, uh, add some ether to your vial, rotate the vial around as you're adding the ether, make sure you wash the walls. You do that two or three times and all the stuff should be, uh, should, should have washed out of there. Um, then as far as the lab goes, the next thing you're doing is adding ether, more of it to dissolve your solid. And note here, you're looking to dissolve over 90% of it, um, if, if some of it's not breaking up, you can use your pipette now that you don't need to get any fresh ether. Use your pipette into your solution to try and agitate it by taking up some solution and squirting it back in. Add any of the chunks that you have. And then uh, give that some time to dissolve. If your vial, uh, after you've rinsed it out with ether, sit it in the fume hood for a little while. Like, I'm talking on 30 seconds. Ether should evaporate. Then go take the mass of it on the balance. And so long as the number's not changing, you got a stable reading, record it. And then the difference, i.e. weighing by difference, is uh, how much solid you had in your uh, from your sample. Uh, so that's how you do weighing by difference. And that's what you're going to do in this lab, and then pour the solution into your set funnel.